Let me get your bag. Okay. Uh, this is a Johnny Ball bag. You open it up like this, set it down, square it up, step on a corner, opens up. 16 ounce Johnny Ball. I'm going to throw it up in the tree, way up there. Tie a rope, take this off, tie a rope, pull the rope down, run a bowl and up. And that way we'll have maximum leverage on that tree instead of just a little wedge down here or a couple guys pushing. I've got a 7,000 pound break and strength rope that we'll use to pull the tree over and we'll have lots and lots of leverage. So right now, I'm going to get it on a fulcrum. Go straight up, down. He's going to take it, he's going to put my rope on it. He's going to use a pile hitch, which goes on easy, comes off easy. And what's the purpose of doing this here? Well, the purpose is we get the rope up nice and high. It'll be almost 80 feet high, which gives us lots of leverage. You know, we, it's, like having, uh, it's like having the bull by the nose. What's the other way of doing it? Yeah, it's a lot easier than climbing. Saves you a lot of money because instead of taking an hour to climb the tree and get the rope up in there, I spend about five minutes. So it really is a time saver. And uh, time is money. Rope's on. All right, rope is on. So we just pull this up, flake it back into the bag. The rope, and Brad pushes the rope. That's Brad's okay. pushing the rope up. Alright, now I've got this. Why don't you bring that around? Brad's just gonna bring it through the middle of the tree there. I'm gonna bring it up. Yeah, you basically hold this. I'm gonna get the other piece of rope. There you go. You got one branch about ten feet underneath the where we are. Hey Art. When we get that tied off, we're going to put this, I want you to talk about putting this into making the rope longer so that we can have a one and a half. See, he's breaking off branches so that we can tie the knot. Then we just take this, run a bowling up there. Grab this end. There we go. Now I'm going to go down there, face that tree up. And these guys will pull it right down into that hole right there. So that knot we use to lasso the tree, it's called a running bowling. You just take a length of line. This is the working end. This is the standing end. Make an overhand loop. This is the rabbit. Rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, back down the hole, cinch it up. Then you pull it up and it lassoes the tree. And uh, that's how we do it in the big show.
This is Art, our arborist, running his 460 steel, dropping a large aspen tree. He's cutting into the tree and he'll stop about halfway in and grab his felling wedge. He'll stick it into the back side of the tree to prevent the tree from falling backwards. He didn't really need it, but safety first. He's bucking the tree up into manageable lengths. He is 15 feet down over a steep hill below the customer's lawn. He's cutting them into manageable lengths, not so we can pack them up the hill, but so we can attach the rope to it and do some backyard highline logging. It's kind of a neat trick. Art went up one of those large trees and put a whoopee rope and a large pulley block up into the tree, so we're now utilizing that to basically create a highline logging situation with a rope and a pulley, and a small loader. The, the rope's being tied off so that we can get some pressure on that highline. As you can see here, the rope tension gets put on the rope and the log gets drug up to the base of the tree. And if you'll notice, there's two ropes on it. There's a lift line and a tag line. As the loader continues to back up, it lifts the log up the tree and the guys pull the tag line back and they put a little heave ho and a little back into it. Then we disconnect everything here. Then we just go pick it up and stack it on the deck of logs that we've created. This is one of the more involved jobs we've got to do this summer. We got to use all of our tricks in a limited work area. This little 20DX loader with the branch manager log grapple is one of the best pieces of equipment we own and it takes the time out of the work. It makes it to where the guys don't have to lift logs anymore. It just makes movement of stuff a lot easier and we can stack them like the big show. Smaller equipment in the backyard makes it easier to get a lot done. We can even pull the tops and the branches up the top of the hill. So now we can go pick them up. And after we get the tops to the top of the hill, we can just feed them into the chipper which creates the mulch that's dumped into the chip truck. And it's just that easy. As you can see here, the chipper gets hung up, but it still makes its way through it, and it's a heck of a lot faster than packing up branches into the back of a truck. As you can see, we're a little short on space, but we're definitely long on equipment, which has taken this job that normally would have taken three days, without the chipper, without the loader, and without the high line, and turned this three-day job into basically a seven-hour project. It cuts a lot of man hours out and it's the most professional way to get the job done.